Hello everyone. Today in this video we will be discussing how to extract the data from the website and then insert a new row to a data table and then write the updated data table to an excel file. So stay tuned and watch the whole video till the end so that you do not miss out on any of the steps that we will be discussing during the entire video. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon to receive all the latest updates. So without any further delay let us start our discussion for today. To capture the data from the website we need to use the browser package and under the browser package we will need to use the open action command to open the website. So in the browser properties in the properties section under the browser drop down we need to select either Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge as the browser. So it depends upon us which browser we need we, we are selecting. So in this case I am selecting Internet Explorer and pass in the URL that you need to open or from which you want to capture the from which you want to capture the data. So copy and paste the URL and then click on save. Once we once we have used the open action now we will use the universal recorder to capture the table from the website. So click on start recording and then use the and then select the window from which you want to capture the data and then click on universal recorder and then capture the table from the website. Once you have captured the table from the website click on finish. So it will capture the table. Now in the property section under the action drop down select the action that you want to perform. So in this case we want to get the table. So click on get table action and create a data table and create a variable of type table. So we are giving the table name as V table or we can give the name as V data table and then click on create and select and then click on save. Now we will use now we need to use the now we need to get the total number of rows in the table. So before we get the total number of rows first of all we need to insert a new row to this data table variable that we have created. So to insert a new row to a data table go to the data table patch action and then click on and or drag and drop the insert row action. So insert row action will insert a new row to the data table variable that we have already created. So in the property section select the data table variable name that is v data underscore table and then we need to select where we need to insert the row. So we have three options available that is the first position last position or the specific index. So in this case I am using in this case I am inserting the row at the last position and then create a variable of type record. So give the name of the variable as per your choice. So I am giving as v new underscore record and then click on create and select and then click on save. 
so now we will set the value of the new row that we have inserted so as we know that there are three columns in the data table so we will insert the value of all the three columns that we have so before that we will assign the value to the three variables or the three columns that we have so first of all the the, the columns that we have in the table are dot size and breed so now first of all we will set the value of dot so the to set the value of dot column we will use the string assign command and set the value that is we have set the value as bruno and we will select the variable that we have created of string data type that is v dot once we assign the value then we will click on save now to set the value of a data table new, new row that we have inserted so we will drag and drop the set value of single cell action from the data table package and in the data table name we will select the data table variable that we have created in the row by index we can give the we, we will select the record variable that is v new record and pass in the name of the column and in the column by we will select the name you can select the index as well so in the name select the select the column name that is dot and in the set value of table cell we will set we will select the v dot variable that we have created so similarly we will set the value of other two variables or columns that is size and breed so we will copy the string assign command and then in the size we can give the value as small and in the destination variable string variable we will create the variable as v size of string data type and then click on create and select and then we will click on save and in the last column value that is breed we will set the value as german shepherd and in the de string destination string variable we will create the variable called v breed and then click on create and select and then click on save so similarly we will copy the set value of single cell command so now instead of dot we will pass in size and we will select the problem name as size and then set the value that is v size and then click on yes insert and then click on save so similarly for breed we will select instead of dot we will give in breed and in the column by name we will select the breed column and then in the set value we will select v breed and then click on yes insert and then lastly we will click on save now we will run the bot so before running the bot we will close the internet explorer now we to run the bot click on run from run button so as we can see the bot has run successfully so this is how we can insert a insert a row and the value to the data table using a2019 automation anywhere 
Now to write the data into the Excel file, we will first need to open the Excel file. That is, we will we will use the Excel Advanced Package action, and under that we will use we will drag and drop the Open Action command to open the Excel file. So select the Desktop File tab and browse the Excel file in which we want to write the data. So we have test underscore data as the Excel file and then click on open once we select the file and then click on save. Now to write the data into the Excel file we will use the loop command or the loop package. So drag and drop the loop command and select for each row in data table and select the table variable that is v data underscore table and assign the current row to this variable. So in this we need to create another variable that is v record 1 and then click on create and select and then click on save. Now again go to the excel file that is excel advanced package and drag and drop the set cell command and in the cell value first of all select the specific cell and in this select the column name and the row number so we will select a and we will give a variable called v counter or we can select v count and in the cell value we will give the variable v record 1 So select the variable v record 1 and in the record we can select by index as well as by name. So we are selecting by index. And then click on save. So copy this command that is set cell and paste it two times and edit the and edit the both the lines that is change the column name and the column index and then click on save and in this change the column name to C and here give it as 2 and then click on save last but not the least we will use the close command to close the excel file then click on save Since we need to use this close command outside the loop, so drag and drop the close command outside of the loop command and then click on save. So now we will run the bot. So now we will run the bot. To run the bot, we need to click on the run button. So once we click on run button, the bot will be deployed on the system on which the bot is running. And all the preloaded packages or all the packages that we have used in our code will be downloaded 
or will be preloaded so the bot has completed successfully so as you can see we have got the notification that your bot has run successfully so now we will go to the excel file to check the output so as you can see the data that we have captured from the website has been written into the excel file and the new row that we inserted in the excel file or in the data table has been written in the excel file as well so this is how we can use the so this is how we can use insert row or insert new row to a data table using a2019 automation anywhere so with that we have come to the end of our today's video discussion where we discussed how to capture the data from the website and how to insert a new row to a data table with dynamic values and write the, and write that data into an excel file so please watch like and subscribe to my youtube channel so that you receive all the latest notification that we keep posting on our youtube channel if you have any queries then please raise your queries in the comment section and i will be more than happy to answer all of your queries till then have a great day